sale. Not only will you find great bargains, but proceeds also go toward a great cause. Here to tell us more about it at all is Bookstock co-chair Susie Schoenberger. Thanks for coming in this morning. Thank you for having me. I know a lot of people get so excited about Bookstock every year. This has been going on for a while, right? Yes, we're in our 15th year and um, it's an exciting community service project that everybody enjoys. We 800 volunteers strong. We work the whole year now. We collect the books from September to April and then we have our sale for one week. Next Sunday it starts um, at Laurel Park Place Mall and it, most of the sale it's mall hours and even the people who buy the books mm -hmm. love Books Act. They always ask where is their money going because mm -hmm. Every dollar we make goes back into the community for literacy and education. It's such a wonderful thing. And how did this really even get started? Well, two women um, whose children went to school together, they uh, wanted to do a community service project. And they decided um, that the Brandeis book sale had stopped, that they were going to start and take it over. And we called it Bookstock. And all the proceeds stay here in the community. Brandeis went back to Brandeis University. Oh, that's terrific. Now, I know you brought some of the things. We're talking books, of course, media as well. What kind of deals are we talking about here? I know this is, you know, you've got a, a cookbook, a Mario Batali book. How much? That's from your show, The Chew. Yeah. This is a $32 book. It's almost in perfect condition, and you can pick it up for $3. Okay. Most of our books are $3. <laughs> um, the smaller trades are $1. Mm -hmm. The bigger trades are 3 And then we have we have a vast uh, assortment of children's books. Mm -hmm. Their prices start at 50 cents. Oh, wow. And we have a lot of vinyl Star Wars records. Trilogy over there. Yes, we, uh, it's amazing what people donate. And everything is, we call it gently used, but it's really in very good condition. Some books are pristine. They open the book once, close it, and donated it to us. Oh, that's fantastic. And you do have a pre-sale, right? So you pay a little bit, but you get first dibs. Right. At uh, next Sunday from 8.15 to 11 o'clock, we have our pre-sale. And then after that, free admission in its small hours until the following Sunday. And I bet you get a fantastic response. I know we, we come every year and just see so many people, voracious readers, and also people who just want to be able to donate as well. We get people who come from up north, from Toledo, mm -hmm. from Grand Rapids. It's amazing the reach that Bookstock has made in the community in terms of people wanting to come and buy books. And the people who buy the books, they're excited. They know they're contributing back to the community with their dollars for literacy and education projects. All right, thank you so much, Susie, for coming in and telling us about it again. It kicks off next Sunday at Laurel Park Place in Livonia. We'll have more information on our website, wxyz.com. We'll be right back.